Yo, what up, guys? Beefside here. It's currently day 50 or 51 of the 2024 free to play challenge that content creators and the general community is currently engaged in. And in this video, I want to take a look at the newest champion I just got on this account and some of the in game changes and activities that are going on right now that you should probably be aware of. So, right off the bat, I'll show you that the first thing, let me quickly check my notes right here. The first thing I wanted to talk about is some new promo codes that I did not have a chance to record yesterday. The first one that has been available all this time was Game Leap. This one has, I think I've already claimed this one on this account. Let me quickly see. I've already claimed it. So that's Game Leap. Go ahead and claim that. I think it has one energy and some other resources. But the newest one that just dropped into the game yesterday also, I think it's Floral Boost. 2 gt floral boost 2 gt i have not claimed this one let me go ahead and claim it and that's it 100 energy and some other resources that's the first information i wanted to pass out there two new promo codes in raid active in this month of march 2024 so if you're watching this video after this time around i don't think those promo codes will be active by that time so go ahead and claim them the next thing that i wanted to take a look at is the titan blade master titan event that's the name it's about to end one day and 16 hours seems like a lot of time but the events and tournament that are supposed to give you the last blade master points are ending soon including artifact announcement and fire knight and others that are about to end so if i go over this is the free to play account right i did not chase super hard for this blade master but i was so shocked and surprised that i was still able to hit up to three star and um, split soul for blade master rather loss so it was kind of nice so i even overshoot my initial progress which i i wanted to just end at two star because i started late i did not do any of the um what do you call these things now i did not do the champion training i did not do the um, um first artifact announcement i think i also missed out on a lot of points basically all the shard opening i missed all of them but i was like let me just get one or two star because i did not buy this champion so from the shop and i was able to get up to a three star so by just doing things i would normally do in the game so let me see milestone 4 100 gems i don't think i can meet this one because it's about to end i've done everything i can including artifact announcement which i just completed before have i done artifact announcement oh i still have a little a little, a little to go so i can get that 100 gems right here 4000 points 700 points artifact announcement but i'm out of silver so maybe i'll still get it done though but it's just nice to see that I, this account was able to hit this milestone tray which we did not even think was going to be possible so i guess we could say that this titan event was doable in their standard great standard normally if you don't attempt it you end up very very low points or even the first uh, perfect soul only so that's very very good achievement right there champion training was the way i used to get number of points because i looked at it i was like there's, there's a lot of points in champion training 30 over here 70 over here i still have 150 to pick up is it possible that i can get the four star if i get 150 from here and i get 70 from here that will give me enough points to get this right 70 brings me up to 700 points and 150 nah, definitely not enough to get anything i think that's as much as, as i'll go on it there's no need to push for these other rewards that are not very useful but this voice chat does look good though i might not have enough to get it right here i think i've already achieved my mission right here so any other tournaments that are going on i should be aware of i think it's only fire knight i did not farm the fire knight on this account i instead i focused my energy instead on the champion training that was going on classic arena i picked up the blade master point right there see fire knight was easy to get this point because i was farming it at level 16 or 17 and I, I was not ready to push my teams yet to fire knight 20 that's why i did not farm this at all so good luck to all of you i did not even one battle that i got in there so my main account did go hard for the fire knight and um, yeah got all the rewards or got the blade master point from there classic arena is already done so what else is happening in the game our newest toy but before i go to the newest toy let me go ahead and open this last shard that i just picked up today epic nope just a red 
I just got one more um, epic champion. I got him from the Prism Crystal event. You know, I went hard for those Prism Crystals enough to do one or two summons. I think I did one summon right here for that Prism Crystals. And I picked up one of the champions that I wanted. Not Sepulchre Sentinel. Not the others listed right here. But Misquated Monster. So I know all, all, a lot of people started with him in this series. I picked him up from the prism crystal event and i was super 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 glad to have it now that i'm almost beating almost every content in to 20 or so where is it going to help me in the game where if you're no longer needing me in that early game content there is one content that i'm currently taking in instant to 50 in my account for or maybe instant 60 is spider because his big shield even if i have two champions who are doing shield for me that is the white queen and Kora, and i also have toragi the frog toragi the frog is not a champion i'll use for the spider so um i think um miscreated monster shield is the biggest out of all of them so he will be the champion to help me push 16 17 18 and so on hopefully we can use him as our biggest shielder to get all the way to 20 and he's not just going to be doing shields he's also going to be putting fear right the small version of fear fear on the enemies when he has the ally protection out there so if i edit my um, spider team which created monster will be replaced geomancer will still be in there still in the tomb meter and i don't think i'll be using ratalos can ratalos one shot the boss with the help of geomancer hp bone i think i'll leave ratalos in there i think i'll no longer need the services of this champion let me just adjust it like this So the team will look something like this. I don't need decrease defense from my um, what's his name now, Deacon, because I have decrease defense coming in from this champion. I have Wiccan coming in from uh, Geo. So if I no longer need this apothecary to be doing speed boosting, speed boosting, I might replace apothecary with an Amiga. But I'm hoping to get an Amiga to 60. Yes, this this account will need an Amiga for the Fire Knight 20. So he's the next champion that I wanted to take to 60. But then Miscreated Monster came around. So I think I'll be taking Miscreated Monster to 60. Because I need to push the spider. Farming the spider at level, tw um, level 10 is no longer viable for me. In terms of getting good, good banners and accessories that I need to build my better team. So it's time I push the spider. Dungeons is already at, I mean, Dragon is already at level 25. Fire and um, Ice Golem is already at level 20. So I think Fire Knight and Spider are the next big things I need to push. And Amiga and Miscreated Monster are the two champions that will unlock it for me out of my roster. I do not have an, a Cold Heart. I do not have an Allure. I don't have a lot of good champions that might make it a lot easier for me. I don't have an AoE HP Bond. I have some champions who play three, three random hp bonds and all that but this is the spider 20 is not the place you want to be looking the spider links for no that's not spider 20 spider for spider 20 you want to be you know letting the spiders stay alive and um, how do i do damage then i think ratalos can do it how do i test the battle right now he currently doesn't have gear on him does he let's just do a battle test 110 accuracy is that enough to stun not even enough um, silver to upgrade any of this gear. So I'll not test it right now. I just wanted to talk about the theory a little bit to tell you what is the newest champion I just obtained and where it's going to be helping me. Of course, since it's going to be built in this high HP, 100% crit, so it can be put in big shield, that means this champion will feature in a lot of other content like the Doom Tower and other places where I need his big shield. If Toragi cannot help me in those content, they are both the same affinity, but Toragi does bring a decrease attack. And I'm gonna be lacking the decrease speed in this boss, though. I just wanted to bring in a champion who does a cleanse and a champion who does a revive instead of a Dickin or instead of a decrease speed champion like High Cartoon is also another viable option right here. Depends on the affinity we are fighting, we will have to make some adjustments and see. How we get spider 20 is spirit and uh, spirit affinity so i think i'm fine with those magic affinity champions that will be helping me in those contents all right so that's the next big thing that is coming to the account that i'm currently targeting and focusing on while i slowly and wait for this um class stage 14 or higher of the void keep 
10 times on auto that's the beta mission that i've been waiting for since i beat the last one and while it comes up on sunday so while i wait for that i rather focus my resources on other content the free gear removal is still ongoing you still have an entire 24 hours and 16 more hours right here together to get your gear changed on your champions for free you can sweep swap out your gear during this period for free so i've gone ahead to rebuild some champions the first champion i tried to improve my speed on is apothecary because if you know the fastest champions in this leaderboard for the uh, this uh, l hates this thing the challenge the fastest champions for your team will there's a leaderboard just for that so I decided to see if I can get some my apothecary a little bit faster and it's currently 274 that's third position which is going to get me some points right here in the leaderboard so I regeared apothecary still not 16 still gear not 16 I replaced some 12 gear with some more 12 gear but at least this one had a little bit more speed and I got an ascension finally my first champion I finally used a little bit of these ascensions on I had to do this um rework with chaos not not chaos or with chaos dust i had to do the rework until speed popped up and i was like fine but it's on a six star speed boots i didn't want to do this on a five star speed boots all this time i've had this resource to ascend speed boots i wanted to do it on a six star speed boot and finally i got one from the um what do you call this thing now the uh, forge and i was able to get that one Good stop, stop start on that. He doesn't need accuracy though. This would have looked like on a Deacon instead of Apothecary. But Apothecary does need the crit. And when I level up his gear total, his speed currently 274 with the Ascension and all that stuff. So that's good progress right here. The first champion I regeared during this free gear remover. The next champion I thought of is Geomancer. Since I'm currently doing a two key nightmare, it's time we start looking forward to a ultra nightmare three key or four key like most players are currently attempting i want to see what i can do in the ultra nightmare and for that to happen geomancer needs to come off his sets he was in a normal set now he finally came to a life steel set because he can't go to the ultra nightmare battle and relying on heals from external resources right from leech and other places you need your own healing and he was able to look for this <laughs> life steel set that i found laying around and i put it on him not the best this is just crit, not crit damage. And this is just a four star, but it does have accuracy because no banner yet on this champion. I'm still waiting for the Abita mission that will tell me to ascend the force champions um, to the six star ascension, right? So I'm waiting for that. That's why I'm not giving him his maximum ascension yet. Even if I have the force keep uh, already farmed enough to get this one done. So waiting for that Abita mission to get that one done. So that's Geomancer, new life steel set no resources to level up this gear i hope i can get some silver before i have to farm the nightmare else it, to farm like this in the nightmare with this level 12 gear will mean i'll do a three key in nightmare today but I hopefully i farm some campaign and get some silver real quick because i ran out of silver fast as i was changing the gear on these champions including apothecary geomancer and who else did i change gear on yes i put i slapped new gear on this created monster slapped new gear on who else who else who else i slapped new gear on this champion but i wanted to but i stopped so initially before i got um uh, what is called it now this newest champion miscreated monster i brought out now horn or i pulled now horn and i brought him out started building him so that i can use him for this skill right here which places provoke on all enemies for one turn and places a 30 percent increased defense so with this provoke aoe on the spider links in a set that will make him frost frost set that will make him put freeze on the enemies if you do not know that's a way of controlling so i wanted to use him to control the spider links he was in my radar that's why i was out of the vault and getting levels and um, but right now since he's no longer is replaced by miscreated monster he will no longer be used for that content instead he will now go into the faction wars another champion that i was building for that content initially was this champion who also places a freeze or a stun whichever lands on his um, aoe skill right here so i was also preparing this champion as my freeze champion aoe freeze or stun champion for the spider 
because I knew that was going to be a content that it's going to be difficult for me since I don't have an HP Bond champion. If you do have an HP Bond, you still need one of these CC control champions. And I was preparing them. And now Miscreated Monster comes around with his stun and his big shields and all that. So I think he replaces both of them, Greybeard and Gnarlhorn. And I'm not going to build him for Spider anymore. But instead, they'll still be useful for the faction war for um, Skinwalkers and skinwalkers yeah they are both skinwalkers faction champions and yeah i think the faction is open today i know i think so and they can help me get some stars because faction wars is also another way of getting points in this challenge right here so that's the progression that i was thinking about before they just took over now they are talking about um other places that we're going to use this champion i'm looking for a champion that can help me beat boomer so unfortunately i'm currently stuck at boomer 90 and from my roster you can see that shield doesn't help here a cleanser doesn't help here i did take this champion out to level 50 to see if he can explode the bombs can explode and he gets some healing for my team it's not working as as it's supposed to i don't know whether it's because he's not built well or i don't think he needs to be even built well for that to happen i just can't find a synergy that will work perfectly for that content so this rotation, I will most likely be stuck at Boomer. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll regear him. I'll put some regen and immortal on him and see if that helps. But I don't have the silver to level up anything. So I'm currently stuck at Boomer. I was thinking of using Grunge Killjoy to put some bombs on him since that's the best way to do damage. Ratalos is not surviving long enough to do damage to that boss. I've been able to get up to half of his health before he nooks me down. Geomancer, of course, is not going to be a optional option for this one because even if the hp bone is going to help you hit harder or um, steal his thumb meter that stealing of thumb meter will be your, a detriment to this battle right here even if it's the right affinity because everybody else that i have right here is magic 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 so it's it's a problem because they keep getting bombed to pieces and i have no resist on anybody right here because if i can have one person with high resist Maybe that person can sustain long enough to take it down. So, Ratalos is the MVP, but even Apothecary cannot do speed boosting. I cannot use a lot of buffs in this battle. So, Toragi is also, also not helping me a little, a, a lot. Not even landing the decrease attack because of uh, negative affinity. So, there's a lot going wrong with this team. Even if I can beat other content, other bosses, this one I'm just kind of hard to talk because once the bombs begin to detonate and remember all my champions do have masteries that's another thing that is killing me so fast in this battle if i bring in a deacon even if stomach meter is not recommended check out right here i do have this mastery that will decrease the target stomach meter and this makes the boss place another of his um, bombs on the floor and who else has it my ethel has that same mastery and that's also a problem my geomancer has that same mastery so it's not a nice battle because i'm not just getting two of the bombs on the floor i'm getting up to four that do take off at the same time and i cannot survive four bombs going off on on the floor right there so is it what do you call it the thread bombs so that's gonna be a challenge i think that's where i get stuck except you guys can find out a champion that can help me in that content i don't have any of those solo boomer champions i'll be glad to rebuild a champion in that type of solo boomer build to make that work but i'm not seeing it i'm not seeing that team right here no block damage no revive on death no nothing like that all i have is provoke shielders revivers i do see some people using melga what i should do shielding continuous here so i'm not seeing one of those solo boomer champions else i would have built them slapped some gear on them during this time to get it done so if you guys can see any champion or any team that can make boomer work for me without changing masteries because i think if i change my masteries and stop triggering the bombs to to place more on the floor i think that would have worked but i'm not willing to change masteries for boomer i'm happy being stuck at this level i'll look for points other ways besides even if i get through boomer I'm probably gonna get stuck at the next level and i already built kill for the next level i think the next level was supposed to be what's his face now this dude right yeah it was supposed to be this dude again i was already building my kill to prepare for when i face up against him at a higher level and my kill would have been the champion where is kill now let me show you what i was planning to do with kill on this champion when i face 
off against him again. Where is that uh, drink? Right here. I was saving this blood chill drink for that content and I wanted to make kill just the MVP right here in that content. But now I don't I don't think I'll be facing off against him and kill would not have an opportunity to you know flex this blood shield ring and all the poisons he can place on that boss and get it done for me almost solo with the help of maybe some revivers and some shielders that i can put along with him so we'll never get to see scarab at is it what 100 scarab 100 i won't get to see it because i'm currently stuck at Puma. so sad so all these resources along the way i won't get to do it but anyways we still have two weeks and four days to go so i'm not giving up yet maybe during that period i might pull something cool that might help me in with this content so look forward to your feedback if you guys can have any idea how to get through it is there any other thing that i wanted to check out i think that's it that's all that is happening on the account and have i shown you my main account my main account also managed to get that blade master um, titan event done my main account did not intend to go for it because when this event launched i was out of town for two days or so my pc was broken and all that so a lot was going on i was missing out on a bunch of events and tournaments missed out on all the summoning events i think i okay i pulled a lot of shards void shards for that guaranteed void legendary right so i think that helped me get a lot of points during that summon rush or was it championship i think it was summon rush so maybe that had, might have helped me get all the um blade master points in that difficult summoning event that made it possible for me to skip out on some other champion training artifact announcement all those ones i missed out on even the first fire night i don't think i found it so maybe those ones had only 50 fragment uh, 50 blade master points and that's why it did not hinder me from finally getting this champion but right at the end i was like let me try to get a four star perfect soul i mean split soul for this champion that was my goal and i was counting and seeing that i was getting a lot more than a four star and by the time i knew it i was completing everything and i got the mythical skill tome and the eternal uh, soul, soul stone right so that's a huge achievement for the beginning of this event where i looked at it and i was like i'm not going for any of this but at the end i managed to uh, get it done most likely because they did events and tournament along the way that encouraged us to actually go for content like this champion training is already done but guess what i'm not stopping i'm going for the last milestone which is the primal shard of course because this account is still saving a lot of primal shards like a madman right here 41 saved up yeah, 41 saved up right here six secret shards saved up saving up for this upcoming um, fragment plus old cool fusion that just announced what tenet is happening right here oh okay do we pull no <laughs> I'm close to Messi. I know I'm close to Messi for secrets, but I'm not falling for a 10x scam. Not today. Not ever. It's not happening. 2x for free to play all the way. So I just wanted to add that little bit of achievement from my main account. It's a huge one. And I'm still going to go for those other resources. Back to this free to play 2024 series right here. Um, I think that's all I wanted to share. My newest champion, Miscreated Monster, where I'm currently stuck, Doom Tower. And what am I going to be spending my resources on? Trying to build a team that can help me beat Spider. And of course, at the same time, farm enough um, to get Amiga. So he doesn't... Amiga ready for um, Fire Knight so he doesn't keep dying along the way. Even now that I have a reviver for the Fire Knight, I still think Amiga will be required to keep the Tomita of that boss down once we get to 20, which is the right affinity for 20, right? So... Amiga will be the champion. I don't have an allure and I need a consistent turn meter decrease. I don't need the boss taking turns, putting the shield back up. I don't need that happening when I'm fighting 20. So I want to. I'm already at 17. What team is doing 17? This team. So hopefully I might not need. Who, who will I not need? Triple hitter right here. Turn meter decrease. I don't know. By the time we we'll get there, maybe a Deacon will not be needed because I have a decreased defense. Hey, we decreased defense though from a Deacon is needed for the wave. It depends. It depends. So I'll just see what I can do to finally get through to that boss. And uh, I do need this triple hit. I did I do need this uh, triple hit from these two champions and then my main damage. Like everybody else is optional. If an Amiga is keeping the Tomita down, I probably will not need a Geomancer. Even if it helps with Ratalos' nuke for the boss, 
probably would slowly take it down without HP burn right here. This is probably going to be my Fire Knight team right here. So I would do. I don't like bringing champions into this type of content at level 50. So I need Amiga at 60 because his um, accuracy is not enough. He will be in a relentless set. Yes, his accuracy will probably see 169. Close to 200, but I need it to always be landing and not be landing sometimes. His crit rate is also not yet crit cut. So I need to regear him during this free gear remover so he's ready by the time i get that last banner unlocked for him still waiting for the spirit keep to require him right not the spirit the um, habitat mission to require me to take a spirit champion to six star ascension that's why i did i did take um uh, dicking to six star ascension because i knew when that mission comes around amiga will be the spirit champion i take to six star level of ascension to unlock his banner he needs it so he's can focus on defense and maybe crit damage if i'm fast enough to get enough crit rate all right that's the progression right here let me head over to the leaderboard and see what else what everybody else is doing um how my team is faring because we're currently getting closer to that two month mark and we have the last month right here which will be this month of march right when this uh, challenge will end let's see who comes out at top we're currently the cold brew the Bruce Keys were currently at 19,031 points, and everybody is around 19,200 and 19,169. So we are still in the running. Third position is not a bad place, and with 200 more points, is not um, hard to achieve. If everybody else has already achieved that number of points, I will be seeing how I can get additional 100 more points today because i have some content open that i need to push including this end game content that i have not touched which is sand devil right see this is on points waiting for me right here and of course phantom shogun i can beat it to at least level five you can see my revivers and everybody else that i have right here so i'll put together a team that can push first five levels at least of this and get me some points today so tomorrow is sunday you guys can catch me live when i'm doing a live a chill stream and maybe doing some shenanigans in, in raid from my main account or from this free to play if you guys are available for some takeovers from some account um, upgrades right here because you can see a free gear removal this might be the best time for you to hop on the stream and request those so catch me live tomorrow on sunday let's chill and have fun and enjoy our weekend for now i just wanted to hop on here and show you my progression from my free to play account and what i achieved from my main account if i logged out for the day you guys thanks for watching Please like, subscribe for more daily raid content. Later, guys.